Good morning, Titan family. It's Mr. Henson with your Wednesday installment of Titan Reconnect for Wednesday, September 23rd. We're going to jump right into our Wednesday words of wisdom. Today is Education Technology Day. Education technology, or some people call edutech or edtech, can be traced back to all those things that children and people have done to learn in more accurate, faster, and easier ways. The University of Illinois can be credited with the start of online education back in the 1960s. Even though the internet wasn't invented until years later, students had the ability to access information about classes through linked computer terminals. In 1986, the first online class was offered. We roll the clock forward and it's incredible to think about the impact of online learning today. Did you know that 80% of students earn two thirds of their bachelor's degree requirements on the internet? Moreover, one in three college students take at least one online college class. That's pretty amazing. One notable event also was the opening of the first online high school, which was opened in 1994. We fast forward to today where we embrace distance learning and you are participating in it right now. It's really crazy to think about how things have changed over time. Also, it is Energize Day. And that's not regularly what you hear Energize, it's I-N-N-E-R-G-I-Z-E. -E. This is a day after the autumnal equinox and it offers an opportunity to relax and rejuvenate. This day is for you. Do things you enjoy that make you feel good about yourself. Let stress and worry just fade away for the day. Here are some examples of how you could celebrate. Hashtag Energize Day. Read a good book. Go for a walk. Listen to your favorite music. Unplug from technology. Take a nap. Meditate. Those are all great ways that you can relax and energize yourself. Also, it's International Week of Happiness at Work. The general opinion about work, eh, no one probably really likes it. However, have you ever heard of a week-long holiday that encourages happiness at work? International Week of Happiness at Work is just that. It's about bringing happiness into the workplace. If, you work, if your work is part of your daily lives, then one of the best ways to live a happier life is to be happy at work. So whether you work for a big company, a small company, or anything in between, you can find happiness. So think about that. When you go to work, be happy. Now for a couple important dates in history. I know there's a lot of you out there that love video games. Believe it or not, I've got an interesting fact about the Nintendo company. Did you know it was founded back in 1889? Yes, 1889, I said. It was actually a Japanese gaming company that was created that made card games, and they were called Nintendo Kopei which is based in Kyoto, Japan. They originally made those playing cards, but back in 1981, they released Donkey Kong. And as they say, the rest is history. We've got Nintendo that we have today. Also, some notable birthdays for today, September 23rd. 1978, actor Anthony Mackie was born. In 1962, John Harbaugh, the NFL football coach and 2019 NFL Coach of the Year. And Bruce Springsteen was born on this date in 1949. Now, to close, we have our quote of the week. It's actually in honor of International Week of, work, week of Happiness at Work. And here's our quote, and it comes to us from Confucius. Confucius say, choose a job you love, and you'll never have to work a day in your life. When you're doing something that you truly enjoy or love, it's really not like work at all. As you plan for your job and your career moving forward, always keep that in mind. So today, Titan family, as we close, just remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. I ask that you make great choices today. Have a good day. Remember, the option is yours.